Hi guys, so this is a short video explaining how many meters of LED strip you can put onto a power supply, how to work out how big your power supply is, and how to work out what LED strip you have in terms of wattage. So, very briefly, the LED power supply here we have is a 200 watt power supply. So this has all the details of the power supply. It says 200 watts, it is 24 volts, and it is 8.3 amps. You may have a power supply where you're looking to swap the power supply over, but it doesn't give you the total wattage. It just says 24 volts, 8.3 amps. So then how do you work out the wattage? Well, what you do is you times the volts by the ampage. So in this case, 24 volts times 8.33 amps will give us 199.2 watts. So that is a 200 watt power supply. So that the, the um, method to work that out is the volts times the amps. So there you are for the power supply. The LED strip, if you know the wattage of the LED strip, it should be labelled on the back. It is not usually labelled on the power, on the LED strip itself. On the LED strip, it does usually have the voltage. So the voltage is usually at every cut point, it will say 12 or 24 volts. And you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see that there, but in this case it's 24 volts. So on the back here it is 12 watts per meter maximum. So this, with the LED strip on your project, you can have several strips. As long as you add them all up, the total wattage of all of the strips, you can still use one power supply as long as the power supply has a larger wattage than the total wattage of the LED strips. So for example, you may have five strips, all different sizes, one meter, 1.2 meter, six meter, three meter, and you add them all up and the total wattage is 162 watts. You would then get a power supply that is at least 10% higher than that. So usually they go up 150 watts and then at 200 watts. So if your total wattage is 162 watts, you would then get a 200 watt power supply. And to, to work, get the calculation is you add up the total meterage so you add up and say, for example, it is 10 meters and it is 12 watts per meter. You would do 10 times 12 watts, which will give you 120 watts. So it's quite simple with this calculation once you know them. And one final thing to add is if you do not have the bag and you're looking at your LED strip, trying to determine which LED strip it is, which wattage it is, you do not have an amp tester or any equipment, then a general rule I would say on, on 90 or 95% of LED strip lights from all manufacturers are, if it is a eight millimeter strip, so if it's eight millimeters wide and it has 60 LEDs per meter, then it is a 4.8 watts per meter strip. If it is an eight millimeter wide and it has 120 LEDs a meter, then it'd be a 9.6 watt strip. If the strip is 10 or 12 mil wide, and it has 60 LEDs per meter, then it'd be around about a 14.4 watts per meter strip. And is it, if it is 10 or 12 millimeters wide, and it has 120 LEDs per meter, then it is around about a 24 or 28 watts per meter strip. So that is just a general rule. Comment away with your strip or pictures of the strip, and we can tell you from, from looking at that a very good accuracy of what LED strip you have, what wattage the strip is. So be sure to comment. Thank you very much for watching, and check out instyleled.co.uk. Thank you.